Hello YouTubes! Today, we're going to make some pumpkin stems. We're going to use some uh, dollar store pipe cleaners, and we're going to use some of these. I know you all got them. They're old disgusting brushes. They're shot, but we're going to use the handles for these to be the base of our pumpkin stem. Could you use a dowel? Sure, it's going to be more problematic. We're going to do some drilling, so a dowel really isn't the greatest way to go, but you could use it, but we're not going to. So, with our old brushes, we're going to rip the heads off and use this for the base of the stem. We bought some uh, dollar store chenille, chenille stems, chenille stems, pipe cleaners. And we got this whole bag for a dollar. Um, you can't beat that. It's gonna be cheap pumpkin stems for pumpkins, for paper mache, um, even for a real pumpkin, if a real pumpkin lost its stem. We wanna make some forever stems, um, cause Halloween's coming. Siri, how many days till Halloween? Oh yeah, I don't have Siri. Let's get going, let's go. Okay, we're back at the table. We've got our brushes. We're gonna tear the heads off these things. We're just gonna use a pair of pliers. There's two little tiny nails in here that we gotta get out. Uh, but generally, you can just twist them out, especially if the bristles are already hard. Just wanna twist that thing off and break, the, break this head off. All right, you might wanna wear gloves when you do this so you don't cut yourself. That's one handle. That stuff's junk. We're gonna grab this other handle. Let's do the same thing. Uh. You're gonna stick with her. Okay. Those are junk. We got our two handles. I'm gonna take the pliers and just pinch off a little bit. You could actually leave them wide if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to make a wider stem. Um, this will be the base of the stem. This is what we can trim down later and stab into the pumpkin and use some E6000 to glue it in if you were doing paper mache or a foam pumpkin. But this is basically the basis. This is what we need. This is what we're after. We got one. Let's do two. Just snap it off because these are cheap wood, hang cheap wood uh, handles. Ah, there we go. And you can shave them down, grind them down if you wanted to. But we got what we're after. This is our starting point. So now at this point, we got our two uh, little stems that would be ready to go. Now we're gonna take an eighth inch drill bit inside the little cordless drill here, and we're gonna put a bunch of holes drilled all the way through this little handle. And you want a piece of scrap wood on the backside. And you can drill as many as you want, probably a good 15, 20 holes or so. In and out. And I want to fill up probably the whole top inch of this stem. So I'm going to go ahead and drill these out on both handles. And then I'll come back and we'll start running some pipe cleaners through there. All righty, we're back. We've got plenty of holes drilled out in our two little pumpkin stems to be. Uh, if you'll notice, this one's got a couple of larger holes in the bottom. That's because I figure as an alternate, I'm going to throw in possibly some twine. You could mix in if you wanted to. I mean, if you wanted to bulk the stem out in tin foil a little bit, or you wanted to use uh, paper wound up or something like that, but I think in one of the stems, I'm gonna feed some of this thicker twine through because I think it looks more pumpkin-like. It looks kind of cool. So we'll start with the smaller stem first. Take our dollar store pumpkin stems, and the colors don't matter what you use. You just wanna grab your stems and start feeding them through these little uh, eighth-inch holes you put in. And they'll go just through like that. Now it depends if you want to make a longer stem, a shorter stem, a wider stem. Um, that's kind of up to you. I just grab it and twist around. Want to put one through every hole. You can put them halfway through. And you really don't have to twist them back. You can twist them back on each other or on another pipe cleaner. It doesn't matter. And this will be the top of our stem from this point up. So... Maybe this one will do a little a medium sized stem, maybe. Something like that. Another pipe cleaner. And I got all these pipe cleaners for a dollar. So if you really wanted to go crazy and make a super thick stem, you could put like a whole package of pipe cleaners on one pumpkin stem and it'd cost you a dollar, plus an old chip brush handle. So, but that's kind of the point. I'm gonna uh, go ahead, I'm gonna lace this whole stem up and then uh, I'll come back and we'll start on the other stem over here and take a look at what we're gonna do with those and then kind of figure out a little, uh, uh, how we wanna make this stem, a long one, a short one, and then we'll see.
Alrighty, so I got a pipe cleaner through every hole. I got it twisted back on itself once or twice. That way they all kind of stay in place. And at this point, this is up to you guys. How much you want to put in, you could go more, you could go less. Just going to kind of grab these guys and brush them out a little bit. And then basically you just kind of twist them into shape how you want them. You go as crazy or as little as you want. You can go longer. You could make, uh, bend some down here and make little spreader stems for the base if you wanted. And all these little loose strand guys, you just kind of tuck in back in there and twist them around how you want them. Let's see. Let's go a little more. All right. There's really no right or no wrong way. And twist these guys back. I'm going to take an extra one and wrap it around the base. So we got a little more uh, down here. And it don't have to be perfect, just whatever you think. So this would be probably like a medium stem. And curl it around back up top if you wanted. Let's see, twist that guy into shape. All right. Any little loose guys you got, you just take and tuck back into the rest of them. And you just kind of twist it around so you're happy with everything. All right. Got another little loose guy right here. Just tuck him in. All right, that's one. That looks pretty cool. Leave him here. Then we'll throw the rest of the pipe cleaners on this guy. I'll feed them through just like the other stem. Twist them off. And then I took the this bigger piece of twine, like I showed you earlier, and broke it down into smaller pieces. And you could even use thinner twine if you wanted. You could really just put anything inside these you wanted as long as you made a hole for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and lace this one up, and then I'll come back and I'll show you this one when it's all done. Alrighty, so I got this second one all kind of done up. I went ahead and tied some twine in the bigger holes and just put a little knot at the very bottom and pulled it through. I had another little chunk of twine left over, so I just kind of wrapped that up and signed some of these uh, little pipe cleaners. So there's some kind of like loose fiber stuff looking in there. So now we can just go ahead and start to kind of tie all these guys up and shape the stem how you want it. Intermingle these guys. There we go. And don't worry about the little ragged stuff later. We can always burn it off. Twist them around how you want it. This be kind of a low long stem, and that's fine. You just keep on twisting it. Maybe you take another one, go to the bottom here, tie this guy up right under them knots. Okay, twist him. All right, we'll pull him up. Tuck him in, and then you can also, if you want, slide through, find a little hole. We'll tie this guy off at the bottom. Twist him up. Okay, make him through. And if you want to have a little leader vine, you could always take a, a pencil Wrap it around a pencil like it's another vine coming off. So now you got a little stem. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to compact these guys. I'm going to tuck all the little ends in. And uh, I'm going to get this thing ready so we can go ahead and put some glue on it. We're going to do glue on one uh, wood glue. We're going to do fiberglass resin on the other because it will go faster. And then we'll make us some pumpkin stems. All right. Got us some stems all bent up, ready to go. Got one big tall long one with two runners. There's another one I made up off camera. It's kind of a little more twisty with a little single runner coming off of it. Now we want to kind of hard coat these guys. So I think I'm going to take the small one, put these guys over here, take him, and I'm going to fill the little cup with just enough glue to work with. This is a uh, tight bond three, it's waterproof. So if your pumpkin's going to sit outside for Halloween, um, it shouldn't be an issue. Here in Indiana, like I said, we get frost, we get horrible weather. Um, so I like to build everything overkill to make sure it lasts. Come on, tight bond.
And whatever you don't use, you can dump back in the bucket. And with a tight bond, it's probably going to take two coats. This stuff takes a while to dry, so you're probably going to want to put a coat on and then wait a couple of hours, maybe even a day, and come back and coat it again. We got another brand new chip brush. When you're done using it, save the handle because that's yet another stem. So we're just going to hang this guy over the over the little bucket of glue here. Let this tight bond soak into all those little fibers on those uh, pipe cleaners. That's what's going to hold this all down and lock this into place and make it waterproof. And try not to put too hard on it because it'll just want to uh, bend your stem around. So I'm just going to go ahead and dump the stem in here and really coat this thing all the way down to the bottom, all the way onto the stick. The wooden stick will soak it up too. And when you're done with the first coat, if you get any little loose fibers that are flyaways, you can always just take a lighter and burn them little, uh, little flyaways off. This one's looking pretty good so far. I might just put all this glue on there. I'll get this whole backside. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to coat this whole stem all the way over. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to do the fiberglass stems. All right, I got the whole little stem brush with the wood glue. I'm going to put this aside and let it to dry. It probably won't dry till tomorrow. By the time it dries, you guys will see it in the thumbnail. So I've got these other two little stems left. I got some fiberglass resin. It's about four ounces. Um, I used it before. I showed you guys in my, uh, oh, what video did I use the fiberglass? I used it in the Damien video, um, and I used it in the, in the uh, hand plaque. But I got one more little thing I like to add. I'm going to try this out. I got some of this little cheap ivy I got from, I don't know, probably uh, Hobby Lobby or something. Um, I'm going to take a little piece off. And it's relatively cheap. It looks like pumpkins. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. I got this one here that has, let's see if I can find an end. There we go. I'm going to twist tie this on. Give us that little bit more look of realism. Get in there. All right. Come on, Ivy. I got all damn Davis for you. Okay. All right. I'm going to tuck that in there. And then we'll just work around it. So now we got us some leaves. And you could do it to all of them. You could use less. Oh, you could use more. So fiberglass. Four ounces. You need ten drops per ounce so it's 40 drops or actually it's 10 drops per two ounces so 20 drops one two three four yeah 20 okay that'll be plenty mix up our fiberglass when you're using this stuff you're going to want to have gloves on fiberglass is nasty stuff and you're going to feel it almost immediately start to thicken up even though it was nice and thin and sturdy as before then you know that the activator is already working so I'm going to mix the hell out of this and then we're going to coat both of those stems and that should lock all them little fibers into place, like our, our, our shape into place. And then we'll have some hardened stems that we could jam into a pumpkin or a paper mache pumpkin and put outside and use year round. And this fiberglass will take paint so you can paint your stems, whatever. And it's already got kind of that brown amber cover. So it's already actually pretty close. Some brown and maybe some tan dry brushing on to look like a, uh, lightened up uh, pumpkin stem after it's been cut. So now that it's cooler in here in the booth, I'm just going to mix it, let it sit for a bit, and then we're going to grab us a chip brush and go back at it. Get another chip brush, save the handle off this one. There's another cheap pumpkin stem. So I'm just going to jam it in. Now might as well just dip the tip in. There we go. Let it soak in all them fiberglass. Um, Fiberglass little strands that'll soak into the pipe cleaners, with the, all the little fuzz that's on them. This is perfect for that. And like I said, it was a dollar. I was like, how do you beat that? One dollar. All right. Come on in there. All around. We're just going to fiberglass all the way down. Be generous with the fiberglass. This stuff should harden in about 15 minutes or so. Actually, you could actually grind this if you wanted to put a second coat on it if you weren't happy with it. Um, that's the joy of fiberglass. Of course, it itches like a bitch once you start grinding on it, but hey, for Halloween purposes, why not? 
All right. This is pretty good. And with the, uh, the glue, it would probably take eh, probably two coats. So the fiberglass goes faster, so I want to use the fiberglass. You can buy this at any part store. It's, uh, you can buy it by the quart, so you don't have to buy a whole gallon like I do, but I use a lot of it for some of the classic cars and stuff I work on. So, All right, we're going to call this one coated. Make sure that stem's nice and coated at the bottom. All right, I think this one's done. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to brush this guy out, this second one, and then uh, we'll take a look at him once it starts kicking and it hardens up. So I'll be back. All right, got our first coat of fiberglass on. They're looking pretty good. Went ahead and used a little uh, hanger, a little clothes hanger to hold the stuff up, let it drip dry over the garbage can while I heat gun the hell out of it. But ours are two stems as of the right now. They're pretty hard. These guys still move a little bit because their wires are uh, still making them a little stiff. So that's kind of cool. So they might be even poseable when they're done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one more round of fiberglass. I'm going to do four more ounces. I'm going to brush these guys one more time, and then they should be ready for some paint. So let's do one more round of fiberglass. All righty. Got us two stems here. Fiberglass is all dried up. It turned out pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with them. Let's do some speed painting. And by speed painting, I mean break out that damn heat gun because, God, I hate waiting. So let's throw some, uh, let's throw some black on there first. Nice dark base. Again, you guys can put any colors you want on it. You want your green stems, tan stems, it don't matter. All right. Get the bottom of that a little bit. Let's get this guy. Pack him out. Ooh, I'm making a mess. Thank God for plastic. All right, we got us two stems. I'm gonna heat gun these, and we'll come back with we'll a little bit of dry brushing, and we'll call them done. All right, change the paper again. Got our stems blacked out. Pretty happy with those. And they look pretty cool. Look nice and gnarly. And the colors, you guys can throw anything you want on there. Um, tans, greens, browns, whites, whatever. I'm gonna do a quick paint job on these. Of course, you guys can finish them to how you like. Do some brown dry brushing. Just kind of scatter it on there. You guys like more of a tan pumpkin or brown stem? Like I said, the color combinations are up to you guys. But these will be fine to sit outside Winter time, snow, ice are nice and hard. I don't think the elements can mess with them. All right, I think that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and put some uh, put some tan highlights in there. Let's go work right out of the right off a paper plate. All right, it's got our cream color. A little bit of white. Probably should have heat gun that, but oh well. Ooh, that's too much, too much, too much. Okay, a little bit there. Some of that off. All right, there we go. I hit them leaves, lighten those up a little bit. <clears throat> Ooh, too much, too much, too much. All right, that's a lot better. Some leaves. Kind of wet blending a little bit. All right. All right, you could actually play with that a little more. It's kind of guys up to personal preference. I'm kind of happy with this one. I think it looks nice and gnarly. It looks like a little great sitting on top of a pumpkin. Get them leaves. All right, let's leave this guy here. Let's go paint this one. This one's kind of a brownish base, I guess. Do this one. Pick up a little bit. Let's mix both those colors. Be like a kind of a lighter brown. All right. 
mix them both. Get the little, little runners where new pumpkins would form. I'm loving that. I think that looks so cool. And it's just fiberglass and dollar store uh, pipe cleaners. That's all it is. And these things can sit outside probably all year. That's a little green in that. I'm liking that. It's pretty cool. Liking the brushes. But since pumpkins do have some green in them a little bit, let's go around that same plate. I'll pick a section we haven't painted on yet. Throw some green. I'm going to dip right into that brush. All right, let's throw some green on this guy. Oh, that's pretty cool, too. I like that. Do more towards the base where the stem would be newer, more fresh. You guys could add more leaves if you wanted. Like I said, you could uh, actually add in twine if you wanted to. Bulk it out in paper. Like I said, the choices are kind of pretty much endless how you guys design them and how you finish them off. I think the green's pretty cool. All right, folks, I'm happy with that. We got our dry brushing done. We got two different stems. This one's got the green in it. I think that looks pretty cool. That'll look great stabbed into a pumpkin on the side of the uh, house or whatever. We got us a brown one. That could probably use maybe a little uh, little green highlights on that or a little more brown. Uh, we got the one we did earlier. It's gonna take this guy with the wood glue probably a couple hours to dry and then he's gonna need a second coat. But I've already done one before with the glue, wood glue process and this is what it looks like when it's done. This guy's the same thing, sprayed brown, dry brushed with white. And I've sprayed a little bit of green dye on it to dry out. So that's what we got. We got what, four stems, one to be finished. One that's done using the wood glue method. These both guys are in fiberglass, and all these guys when they're finished should be able to sit outside all year long. Rain, slow, sleet, whatever the uh, temperature can throw at it. These guys should be set for, uh, for Halloweens for years to come. So I hope you guys got something out of this. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys make your own stems, tell me how you make them in the comments. I'm curious. I don't know if everybody does things the same way, but... Good uh, bonus of today is that we got four more pumpkin stems. We got the wood glue, got this. So we're going to be back in business again pretty soon. So now we gained four new pumpkin stems today. Got our leftover junk. So I hope you dig it, folks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for spending some time with me. Make some pumpkin stems. Halloween's coming. Siri, how many days till Halloween?